Heavenly Father, Lord God of hosts, who is mighty like you, O Lord? Your faithfulness surrounds you. Great is your love reaching to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock, you who dwell between the cherubim, shine forth. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. May your favor be upon us, O Lord of hosts, as we bow before your infinite majesty. Silence every distraction and remove anything that would hinder our closest communion with you this evening. Lord, take our hearts and unite them to your own. There is none upon earth that we desire besides you, O Lord. You are resplendent with light, more glorious and excellent than the mountains of prey. You have a mighty arm, strong as your hand and high as your right arm. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Mercy and truth go before your face. Blessed are the people who know the joyful sound. O oh Lord, receive our prayers as incense for the evening sacrifice. Perfume them with your infinite perfections and make them a holy, acceptable, and pleasing offering to the Lord. For it's in your glorious High and holy name, Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. Welcome, everybody. It is a joy to be with you here at the 6 o'clock hour as we bring our prayers of thanksgiving and petition before the Lord. It's just a joy to be able to be part of this season where the Lord is stretching the tent pegs of his tabernacle across this nation and really around the world. And he's knitting our hearts together and blanketing this world with his prayers. And I'm just so filled with joy that we can do this together in such a magnificent way. The Lord is providing through the internet. And I just welcome you all who are joining us online and especially our dear friends on the West Coast at Calvary Chapel, Chino Hills, that sweet remnant who are standing in the gap and praying. Today, we were looking at uh, this wonderful psalm, Psalm 80, where the psalmist is repeating this prayer to the Lord in order to bring about revival um, over and over again. He's asking for the Lord of hosts to shine his light upon them and to bring revival to his people. This is Psalm 80, and I'm just going to read the repetition that he gives he says, give ear, O shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock, you who dwell between the cherubim, shine forth. Restore us, O God. Cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved, O Lord God of hosts. Restore us, O God of hosts. Cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. Return, we beseech you, O God of hosts. Look down from heaven and see and visit this vine. Let your hand be upon the man of your right hand, upon the son of the man whom you made strong for yourself. Then we will not turn back from you. Revive us, and we will call upon your name. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. The psalmist is repeating the same appeal over and over again for the Lord to return and revive the hearts of his people. For true revival is a return of God's favor and presence to his people. When we pray for revival, we should be seeking above all things the fellowship of God and the favor of his presence. When we have this, we have no need of anything else. He is all and all. That is why Jesus told his disciples to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then you will have all these other things. Matthew 6, 33. This evening or this afternoon, we reflected on the truth that the only light of the world is the light of Jesus Christ. 
His life is the light of all men. And only in his light does the church flourish and prosper. Otherwise, we become like the withered vine that the psalmist speaks about here in Psalm 80. But all it takes is just a single glance from the radiant and loving face of our Lord, and all becomes light and hope and health and joy. You know, the light of Israel has fallen into our laps as Gentiles for a season, for a short time. It's been entrusted to us, and it's a sacred stewardship that we must not trifle with, this glorious light. It is the light of salvation for the world. Psalm 89 says, Blessed are those who have learned to acclaim you, who walk in the light of your presence, O Lord. They rejoice in your name all day long. They exult in your righteousness, for you are their glory and strength, and by your favor you exalt our horn. And so tonight, let us steward that light and use that light in the time that we have been given. It's precious. There's a short time left for us to call down heaven's blessings upon all the many needs of our families, our church, our communities, this nation, an election that's a week away for Israel, for the world. Up here on the altar are just dozens of prayer requests, so many needs, cancers, Alzheimer, many struggles, many who need to be saved, prodigal children, broken marriages, people looking for jobs and housing. It's just countless needs. People need the light of the Lord to shine upon them in their time of trial and suffering and struggle. They just need to know that they have the favor of the Lord. They just need a glance of his glorious, radiant face to give them that hope to persevere in the midst of their trial, to trust that he's faithful, that he's seated on the throne, and that he's moving on their behalf. They need a word of encouragement. They need our prayers. And that's what we're here to do this evening. So I invite you to come to the altar. You're welcome to even come up and pray one of these prayers tonight. Just pray for them. You can use this microphone or you can join, use the one right there in the center of the aisle. I just encourage you again, as always, to pray your prayers out loud so everyone can hear them. We have so many people joining us across this nation, around the world, who are being encouraged by the word of God that's being spoken, by the prayers that are being prayed. Some of you, some of your prayers, they're just moving heaven. You need to know that. Even the simplest, the simplest prayers is just causing breakthrough for people. So come and let's join our hearts together and just blanket this nation and the world with these prayers. Use your sword, wield it, to bring healing and hope and salvation and reconciliation, to bring comfort and peace and joy, to pour out God's grace, to come alongside our brothers and sisters, to hold up their arms as they're fighting the fight of their life. Let's go before the Lord and pray. Many are asking who can show us any good. Let the light of your face shine upon us, O Lord, as we feast from your word. It is a lamp to our feet and a light for our path. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. O Lord, we give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks to you. For your wondrous works declare that your name is near. We are before you with hearts filled with gratitude.
For you command your loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night your song is with us, a prayer to the God of our life. Tonight, Lord, we ask that our words would be heavenly, our hearts holy, and our meditation be sweet in your sight. As we lift up the needs and concerns all around us with a heart of thanksgiving, for we come to a throne of grace. And your favor is upon us in this sanctified season of prayer to come boldly to your throne and make our requests. We will continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God that is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks in your name, O Lord Most High. Come, let us enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name, for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. O Lord, how great is your goodness which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared for those who trust you in the presence of the sons of men. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown his marvelous kindness in a strong city. O love the Lord, all you saints. For the Lord preserves the faithful and fully repays the proud person. We give you thanks, O Lord, that we who hope in you, you strengthen our hearts. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully with psalms. For the Lord is is the great God and great King above all gods. O door of the sheep, we ask that you would just shut the door on the world for us right now and close us up with you. Help us just to get right into your presence, Lord, face to face and rise above this world. We adore you, Lord Jesus. You gave your life for us, and you've ransomed your people with your blood. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Lord Jesus, you are our great high priest and mediator, and we bow in adoration and gratitude for your unceasing intercession on our behalf, which brings the life and power of heaven into our life. Such a high priest meets our needs, one who is holy, blameless, pure, set apart from sinners and exalted above the heavens. May we rise up to live a life of intercession that willingly waits upon you in the throne room of heaven and simply agrees with you in prayer. O Lord, take captive every thought of ours for the good of your people. Take possession of us, Lord. Make us that channel through which you can pour out your blessings upon the earth. May we be those who were chosen before the foundation of the world, redeemed by your precious blood, and called by your spirit to be one with you those for whom you prayed to learn our lesson in the school of prayer and to be obedient to your word, spiritually minded, separated from the world, and set apart to you, those in whom the Father is glorified in, whom your light shines in this world. O come and let us walk in the light of the Lord, We ask you, Holy Spirit, to take possession of our lives right now and bring us into the joy of the abiding presence of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, so we can live a life of continuous, unbroken communion with him. O Lord, make us more like you. Conform us to your glorious image so that we will not rob you of your glory or diminish your beauty in this world. May your unfailing love rest upon us, O Lord, even as we put our hope in you. 
Revive our hearts, we pray. And lead us in this intercession tonight for those who need a touch of your love, O Lord of hosts. Come mightily into the hearts of your people and do the work that only you can do. In Jesus' name. Lord, I lift this nation up to you, O oh God. And I ask that grace and peace would be multiplied to this nation in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. O oh God, open up the eyes of this nation to see that your divine power can give us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who calls us by glory and virtue. God, may this nation choose to receive your exceedingly great and precious promises that through these we may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. But also for this very reason, Lord, I pray that this nation <clears throat> would choose to put their trust in you, giving all diligence, adding to their faith virtue and knowledge self-control and perseverance, godliness and brotherly kindness and love. And I pray that these would be ours and we would abound in them and that we would not be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Yes, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend money for what is not bread and your wages for what does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me and eat what is good and let your soul delight itself in abundance. Incline your ear and come to me. Hear and your soul shall live. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. O Lord, you are the fountain of living water, the fountain of all fullness, Lord. 
We pray for the multitudes of spiritually thirsty souls all around us, that they would be drawn to that well, which will never run dry. Lord Jesus, we call upon your holy name. We bow before you, Jesus, before your throne of grace and mercy. You are holy. You are worthy, the lamb who is slain. Thank you, God, for your mercy. You are our tower of refuge. Oh, Jesus, we run to you. We cling to you with all of our hearts and souls. We need you, Jesus. God, have mercy on this nation. Oh, Lord, we repent. We repent of our sins, oh, God. And we ask for forgiveness, oh, Lord Jesus. We are weak, but you are our strength. Oh, Lord, your word is proven, and you are a shield to all who trust in you. Lord, some trust in chariots, chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. You are our commander-in-chief. We surrender all. We lay down everything for you because you gave everything for us. We humble ourselves under your mighty hand. We need you. Lord, we ask for an outpouring of your Holy Spirit upon your people, oh Jesus. Awaken your people, oh God. Lord, help us to put on Christ, knowing the time that now is a high time to awake out of sleep. For now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. The night is far spent and the day is at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk properly as in the day and not in rivalry and drunkenness, not in lewdness and lust, not in strife and envy. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lust. Lord, awaken your people. Get us out of laziness, O oh God, and set us on fire for you. For you are a consuming fire, God. Let your holy fire fall upon this land, O oh God. Bring us to our knees, O oh God. We repent and we call on you. Oh, Jesus, extend your mercy on this land, oh, God. Oh, please, Jesus, help us to be faithful servants, to diligently, Lord, spread your word, to spread the gospel, oh, God. To not fear man, but to fear you above all things, oh, God. We give everything to you. Oh, God, help us to be bold to speak to family members, to bring in lost sheep. Oh God, you are the good shepherd and your sheep hear your voice. Anoint your people's ears to hear your voice. Anoint our mouths to speak your words. Oh God, send your angels to fight for us. God, oh Jesus, we lift up your name. Thank you, God, for the holes in your hands. The holes in your feet. Thank you for the blood that poured down your face when you said, it is finished. Thank you, God, that we can come boldly to the throne of grace, oh God. We love you, God. Oh, and we will follow your commandments and we will be obedient to you no matter what persecutions come. Clothe us with all the armor of God to stand against the wiles of the devil, God. Oh, Lord Jesus, thank you, God, for your love. I pray that you pour out gifts of your Holy Spirit upon your people. 
I pray that you'd speak even as we sleep, that dreams and visions would be poured out upon your people, God, that the gift of prophecy would be given, O oh Lord, that the gift of love would be given, God, that you would work miracles that are undeniable, that you are at work and that you are alive and you are coming on the clouds of glory and every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that you, Jesus Christ, are Lord. I pray for all these prayer requests up here. Oh, Jesus, meet these people. Oh, God, come to them and wrap your loving arms around them. Let them know you are with them, God. And that you hold all things in control, God. I pray for Israel, oh Lord Jesus. Oh, for the peace of Jerusalem, God. That they would fall to their knees and look up to the heavens and acknowledge you, Jesus Christ, the one whom they pierced as their Messiah. Oh God, have mercy. We love you. Thank you for the work you're doing, God. And that you have made this a house of prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Dear Lord, thank you so much, Lord, for being our daddy and loving us, Lord. And I just thank you, Lord, for the victory we have in Jesus, Lord. Dear Lord, I want to lift up by name uh, Tyler Blankenship, a police officer in Sweetwater, Lord, uh, who has lung cancer and, and different spots on his body, Lord, that he's been battling for a while, Lord. Uh, he's in need of a miracle, Lord. And we just ask that the blood of Jesus would flow over him, Lord, and, and you would heal him. As Jehovah Rapha, our healer, as a great physician, Lord, we know by your stripes, by your stripes we are healed, Lord. And Lord, we just ask you just to astound us with your faithfulness and your healing. In this young man, Lord, who's in his 40s, Lord, who has a wife and an 11-year-old at home, Lord, and Lord, we just ask for your comfort to this family. And there's so many families, even in this con congregation, going through things like that, Lord. And Lord, we just ask that you would just um, astound us during this season, Lord, to, to hear our cry, Lord, for those who are sick all around us, Lord, with cancer and different things, Lord, um, all across this nation, Lord. Dear Lord, just give your people a touch, Lord. It just takes a touch from you, Lord, to heal and to cleanse, Lord. And 
we just are thankful that we win every day with Jesus. We win in the end with Jesus. But Lord, we just ask that you would just um, just touch these different prayer requests and, and Tyler in particular in Jesus' name. Amen. I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Therefore, we do not lose heart, even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but of the things that are unseen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Lord, we just pray for your added grace for each one of these many needs, Lord Jesus, that they will see your strength being made perfect in their weakness, and they will boast all the more in their weaknesses, Lord, because of your strength. And the glory you are receiving. God, let your touch be upon each one of these lives, Lord, who have come boldly to your throne of grace and submitted their requests. Speak peace upon their bodies and fill their homes with your peace. For you say, be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So, Lord, all of these many requests where these precious ones are being tossed in the storm of life right now, the tempest has come upon them, Lord, would you just do as you did with your disciples and say, peace, be still, and let your calm come into their hearts. In your mighty name, Lord Jesus.
pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls, prosperity within your palaces. For the sake of my brethren and companions, I will now say, peace be within you. Because of the house of the Lord of God, I will seek your good. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them also and bear them up forever. May God arise and his enemies be scattered. May his foes flee before him. But may the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. May they be happy and joyful. Sing to God and sing praise to his name. Extol him who rides on the clouds. His name is the Lord, and rejoice before him. O Israel, trust in the Lord. He is your help and your shield. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is your help and your shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord, for he is your help and your shield. And it shall happen in that day that I will make Jerusalem a very heavy stone for all peoples. And all who would heave it away will surely be cut in pieces, though all the nations of the earth are gathered against it. Behold, I have set watchmen on your walls, O Jerusalem, and they shall never hold their peace day or night. You who make mention of the Lord, do not keep silent and give him no rest till he establishes and makes Jerusalem a praise in all the earth. Praise be to the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does marvelous deeds. Praise be to his glorious name forever and ever. And may the whole earth be filled with his glory. In Jesus' name. Lord, we are one week away from this election. And we just pray, Lord, that you would stir the hearts of all your people to go out and do their duties as citizens of this free country, which we are so blessed to live in, to vote their values and stand on behalf of the faith and family and freedom, Lord, because righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. And it's our duty as those who are robed in your righteousness, Lord, to uphold the righteousness of this nation. So move your people, Lord Jesus, stir their hearts to stand, Lord, in the truth and to shine your light in this world. Do a mighty work in this next week, Lord, we pray. And in the hearts of your people, we give you all the glory in Jesus' name.
is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, there is a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her just at the break of dawn. The nations raged and the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord who has made desolations in the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. And Lord, we praise you, Lord, for this gracious reminder of your presence, Lord. Lord, for giving us that peace that passes all understanding and turning our attention away from the chaos and the confusion and the challenges of this earth and fixing our eyes on you, the glorious and majestic one seated on the throne, high and lifted up in the position of all power and authority, ruling on our behalf and showing us your tender and merciful care. O Lord, How blessed we are to have the light of your countenance shining upon us in this season, looking upon us with favor and delight when we have been so wearied and worried by everything going on around us. You have condescended to step down and lift our weary heads. And Lord, comfort us with your presence and strengthen us, Lord, with your grace. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. In your mighty name, Lord Jesus. Dear Lord, I just thank you for the tremendous blessing we've seen here at Calvary Chapel, Knoxville, Lord. And we just ask you just continue to bless, Lord, and to bring the resources, the wisdom, the clarity, Lord, on how to expand and and everything involved with it, Lord. And, and you know, Calvary Chino Hills has been the same way, Lord. We just ask you just to uh, just give great wisdom, Lord, to all the leadership, Lord, and that you would just... Uh, continue to bless and flourish and bring resources and just, uh, Lord, just the people, Lord, uh, that are hungry for your word, Lord, and it being taught here verse by verse, Lord, and, and Lord, just how you can't help but just be faithful, Lord, as your, as your word is taught, Lord. We thank you for just the, 
the Calvary legacy overall all over the world, Lord, and we just ask that you would just continue to have the pastors, Lord, be in the word and teaching the word, Lord, verse by verse, and we just thank you for the tremendous blessing in that in Jesus' name. Father, I, I just lift up all those that rule over the affairs of men in this nation. I lift up our president and vice president, the cabinet, the Senate, the House of Representatives. I lift up the judges and the justices, the governors and the mayors, the school boards and the city councils. Father God, I just ask, Lord, that they would be men and women of integrity, Lord. That God, that they would, they would have an understanding of the times. That God, that they would have the courage to do hard things that need to be done in this nation. To stand up for righteousness, Lord, even if they're standing alone. Father, I just ask that they would have a heart after your own heart, oh God. They would desire to please you, Lord. They would have a servant's heart, oh God. Lord, I pray, Father, that, that Lord, that you would just um, bless our nation with godly leaders. Oh, and, Father, if there are those that, are, that have a wicked agenda, I pray, God, that you would remove them from office, Lord, and replace them with another. So, Father God, we just pray that you'd have mercy on our nation. In Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you that you are not slow in keeping your promises, as some understand slowness, but you are patient with us, not wanting anyone to perish, but for everyone to come to repentance. Lord, we lift up all of these who are praying on behalf of their prodigal family members, for so many who have turned their back on you, who have left the church, Lord, we pray for their salvation. May you turn their hearts back to you again. Lord, we thank you, Lord, 
that we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are yet without sin, and that we can approach your throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in our time of need. Oh, Lord, thank you that you are such a faithful mediator and high priest, that you are unceasing in your intercession on our behalf, and that you have given us your Holy Spirit so then that when we don't know even what to pray, that the Spirit intercedes with us with groanings and words we can't comprehend, Lord. Oh, Lord, we thank you for your goodness, for your wonderful works to the children of men. Lord, you satisfy every longing soul, and you fill every hungry soul with your goodness. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another, and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even Christ forgave you, so you must also do. But of all, all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Father, I just want to lift up this next generation of children. Father, there are so many things that they're infiltrated with on a daily basis, Lord, whether that be via school or social media or um, any media outlets. Father, I pray that you would just be raising up a generation that is willing to stand firm in your truth. Father, that you would raise up leaders who would disciple and build these children up, Lord, so that they are able to do that. Father, it's hard to see, Lord, even my own family, my own nieces, my own nephews, um, we're just being pounded by this world. And Father, I pray that you would just give parents wisdom. I pray that you would give church leadership wisdom. I pray that you would, uh, Lord, just give the influences in these children's lives wisdom, Lord, whether that be through uh, church or school or whatever it is. Father, I just ask that you would just raise up people who are willing to disciple the next generation for your kingdom. Lord, to raise up vessels that are willing to usher in your kingdom and stand boldly for your truth. It's in Jesus' name I pray.
revive us, and we will call upon your name. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Cause your face to shine, and we will be saved. O Lord, we do pray for the revival of your church. We pray for the blessing of your presence and the favor of your countenance shining upon us, O Lord God of hosts. We ask for an outpouring of your spirit, that the perishing all around us may be drawn to your glorious light and love, and many souls may be saved. We ask that you would unite the hearts of all your churches and promote true love and unity in your house of prayer. May every church be the very gate of heaven because your presence is there. May this awakening of your sleeping bride to your feet in prayer cause the enemy to tremble and his mouth to be shut because your people are being transformed by a blameless and holy life and becoming holy unto the Lord. Give back to your church a love for your word. Transform our appetites away from the world and give us an insatiable appetite for the true nourishment of our souls, your word, and make us a people zealous for good works. And may our chief aim above all be for the promotion of the glory of God. How we want to see the glory of the knowledge of the Lord flood this land as the waters cover the sea that every creature and created thing will be drowned in the love of God. O turn us again, O Lord of hosts. We join the psalmist in his earnest plea. Make us a fearless and faithful people who only think of what concerns our king. May your word burn within our hearts like a fire that we cannot withhold it any more, but that the love of God compels us to share the gospel with everyone we meet. Lord, raise up within your church a mighty army of intercessors, people who know how to plead and prevail, for that is the only way the true work of God gets done. For unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. May every Christian learn that their life lives on prayer. It is by prayer that we commune with God and learn to lean on you and so find our strength. It is by prayer that the windows of heaven are open and the blessings are poured out in such abundance that we do not have room enough to receive them. O Lord, you are showing us in this season that we cannot go a day, let alone an hour, without communion with you. It is the very air we breathe. Restore to the hearts of all your people the understanding of the vital necessity of a life of constant fellowship with Jesus and the joy of a continual conversation with our Lord. Oh, the blessings you have bestowed upon your people in this sanctified season of prayer are too many to be counted, Lord. Our hearts can hardly contain the joy the blessings that we have received in your name. Oh, the depths of the riches both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. For who has known the mind of the Lord or who has become his counselor or who has first given to him and it shall be repaid him. But of him and through him and to him are all things to whom be glory forever. We praise your wonderful and mighty name, Lord Jesus. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Blessings to all of you. I pray you go out in the joy of the Lord this evening, and I just want to encourage you. We have only two more evenings like this, Thursday and Friday night, so I encourage you to come and invite your friends to just come and soak in the presence of the Lord. But I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. I just a reminder, on Wednesday, we don't have our evening time of prayer because of the worship services at church. 
So I'll see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. here, 6 a.m. on the West Coast. Have a blessed evening. Go out in the joy of the Lord.